Master Jason! Hey, Mr. Welcome Mr. home, Jason. sir. Good to see you again. <laughs> Let me take this. Is anybody around? Oh, yes, they're here. Good. The family's home. <gasps> Hi, everybody. Jason! Jason! Oh, God, I'm so... Why did oh. you call? I called Jason. I would have sent my limo. Oh, no, I... Put her there. It's not much down there, thanks. You got taller. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look wonderful. Uh, hello, AJ. How are you? Well, well, the bastard's son returns. Oh, Jason! 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 Good morning, Aunt Tracy. I think not. It wasn't a question. Jason? Yeah? Can you drop me off at Kelly's on your way to school? Yeah, sure. Why Kelly's? I want to talk to Nikki. Oh, give me a break. I can't believe you're still hanging around Nikki Langton. What do you see in her? Something. I guess nobody else does. Yeah, well, I guess maybe you should take a closer look. Maybe you should shut up and not tell me who to date. Maybe you should go see your shrink because you need some help. Do, do I know how to drive this thing? My parents have always had boats, okay? And my dad made sure AJ and I knew everything about boat safety as we were growing up. You got it? Well, I hope it comes as easy to you as physics does. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it happen to you. I happen to be an A number one sailor. And I might even let you drive this thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, how do I switch this thing on? Don't drive a boat. You pilot the boat, okay? Like, like an airplane? Yeah, yeah, kind of like an airplane, but no wings. Same okay. concept, okay? You ready? Yeah. All right. What do I do? Grab the helm, okay? okay. Strong grip, you got it? Uh -huh. Now, you got to make sure the bow, okay, that's the front of the boat, is headed into the waves. All right? Why? Because if the waves hit the boat broadside, they rock and you can you can risk capsizing. Ah, oh, we don't want that to No, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, now, now you can sweep scan, okay, from left to right and make sure nobody crosses our path. All right? You got it? I got it. Can we okay. Go, can we go faster? Yeah, yeah, we can go faster. Here we go. They yeah, want the stork right here. They're going to have to show up hey, much on stay out of my face. Hey, you guys just hold off until we get back to land and then you have my permission to do whatever you want to each other, okay? All right. Truce for Karen's sake. Oh, oolong, your favorite. Mm, thank you. I'll let you get back to your book. No, you won't. You will sit down right there. Yes. And let me look at you. <laughs> Mom, I was thinking we should, uh, we should have a party of some kind now that you're finished with the chemo. Oh, I think we should hold off at least until after my last checkup. You did all the right things. We're proud of you. I'm pretty proud of me, too. Okay, so what kind of celebration do you want? Oh, I don't know. Something wild and fun and wacky and lively. Oh, you got it. I mean, she... She looks so delicate, you know. But she's made of iron. Something like you. Mm. Uh-oh. What? When his son starts comparing his mother <laughs> no. to his girlfriend, you watch out. Oh, no, I just... I just haven't felt this way... Well, since Karen. You know, but it's weird. I'm not... I'm not sure I'm the same person I was a year ago. I mean, I am. But it was like... I was uninformed, you know? All the parts were there, but I just couldn't seem to piece them together, you know? I, I don't know. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's just, there's just something about Keisha. I mean, she clarifies it. I take full credit. Keisha says I have a very healthy ego. Does she? <laughs> Mom, she has this great sense of humor, you know, because sometimes I, I take things too seriously. Oh, is that Keisha's opinion? Hey, she's very serious about what's important, but she knows how to have a good time. I mean, she makes me laugh. She makes me think. My dear, you've been laughing and thinking for quite a few years. Well, I'm doing it better now, Mother. You could have all been killed, Jason. You have no Mom, idea. Mom, 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 Mom. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. May I offer a suggestion? Uh, not, not to repress anything. Um, <laughs> just for a little distraction. But how about a movie and a burger with Keisha and me? You see, I, I have an inn with the owner of Kelly's, oh. you know? And I can practically guarantee the best table there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Kelly's is the best table? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what movie did you have in mind? I'll even let you pick. If you don't think that's magnanimous, you just ask my girlfriend. You're going to find out anyway as soon as you get home.
A.J. was just here, drunk as a skunk. Justice took him back to the house. Oh, no. I knew it! I knew that one slip couldn't be it. I really thought after the accident with your father, he was scared enough to yeah, well, stop. I've been afraid ever since he was building up to it. God, all the signs were there. I was trying to help, and now, I did everything minute. wrong. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you telling me A.J.'s been drinking right along, and you knew? Sorry. I caught him twice. The party after her. The whole Carla mess and... Keisha, that was gone. weeks ago. No, I thought it was just that one incident and that I'd be right to give <sighs> him another chance. I felt sorry for him. Oh, boy. If anyone had oh, a reason boy. to oh, drink... Boy. Oh, but Keisha, with an alcoholic, reason does not play a part. It's any excuse and self-pity run rampant. Manipulation of people who care about them into enablers. You do have some choices. Oh, I... This is where you set up the conditions so you don't tell Mommy and Daddy. Then your dreams. Come on, man. Why make it any tough? Why are you man? asking me that, AJ? That's a question you should be asking yourself. Oh, Joe, why should I, Jason? You always seem to have all the answers. Yeah, and you're back to the point where your answer to everything is another drink. And another, and another. Oh, for crying out loud, will you just get off your pulpit? No. No, I'm not, I'm not biting AJ. Because if I start swallowing your bull, I'll be in big trouble. Uh, you know, I'm out of this. Right. I'm done. That's it. Go ahead. Go right ahead in your, in your grandiose, self-pitying, pathetic way and submerge yourself into the bottle. Go ahead. But don't come to me for help. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that, was, that was effective. That was effective. The song of an alcoholic. To hell with you if it kills me. Well, hey, you finally start having some fun. Hey, Jay, for God's sake, when are you going to wake up? Excuse me. Excuse me. W was you the guy who just said, I don't care? No, that's not what I said. I said I was going to help you destroy your life. Can't you see that's what you're doing? So what? So quit the self-pity and get into a rehab. Nobody else can do it for you. It's impressive. Yeah, it's a... It's a great collection, isn't it? Yeah, sure. That's a mini ball from Shiloh, used in battle. Grant lost 13,000 men at Shiloh. Suppose he's got one of them? Never know. Do you? I, I mean, do you collect anything? You don't have to do this. Prisoner Irwin, what are you, what are you he doing? He doesn't have to do this. Just, look, just, just step back from Son, the prison. I know a thing or two about the disciplining of soldiers. Prisoner Aguilar, resume it. your punishment. The punishment is Aguilar, over. Aguilar, I'm warning you. Look out, prisoner! You're better than this. <laughs> Sir, it's, it's over now. Just, just give it to me. Prisoners, stay down! Hey, duck! The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness. But it backfired. I fell into darkness. And I couldn't find the light. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. I think I'll pass. 
whatever they did to me. Killed all the members of my crew. I don't know why it didn't kill me. And I tried to run from it, but... Then they started taking Jesse. They seem more interested in him now than in me. You're talking about the tumors. <sighs> they are not tumors. They are something that they put in our heads. I'm here to make sure you don't hurt my son. <clears throat> hurt your son? You want the things they put in our heads. You can have mine. Take it out, do whatever you have to do. But it ends there, and I want your word. You'll never do anything to my son. I would think you'd be more concerned with what they might do to Jesse than with anything that could happen because of us. I don't know how to stop them. Yeah, but you think I need stopping. And you think you can do that, Mr. Keyes. How old is Jesse? 16. <laughs> OK, a young man. Do we have a deal? Good evening, Mr. Keyes. I want to thank you for letting us take a closer look at that tumor of yours. Where's Crawford? Colonel Crawford has an entire operation to oversee. He's left this particular face of it in my capable hands. Well, I don't do anything until I talk to Crawford. I need to know that my son is safe. I might be mistaken, but it does not appear to me that you are in a position here to make demands. Prep him. Once I get rid of you, the darkness will go away. Sora! Donald! Goofy! Relax. Those three aren't going down that easily. The Keyblade's chosen one. He's a lucky kid. Sorry to keep you, Sephiroth! Shut up. You'll never let go of your past. Shut up! What about this planet? Well, that's up to you, Cloud. Oh, where did you find this strength? I'm not about to tell you! Pity you. You just don't get it at all. There's not a thing I don't cherish. Come on, I'm here. I know. I'm not alone. Not anymore.